a very good morning to one and all i am dr rishabh gupta from shaheed bhagat singh college university of delhi and in this session we will be understanding the preparation of cvp charts with changing variables so let's begin following information is available with respect to abc limited selling price 700 rupees fixed cost 84000 rupees variable cost 420 rupees and 8000 are my capacity in units the predicted unit of output are 0 100 200 and it goes on till 700 units based upon the information you are required to prepare the cost volume profit chart and also show the following changes in the cvp chart number 1 if there is an increase in fixed cost to rupees 1 lakh 12000 number 2 if there is a decrease in selling price to rupees 588 number 3 if there is an increase in variable cost to rupees 560 you are also required to compute or measure the impact on cbp chart if there is a change in the selling price by rupees 50 per unit subject to minimum and maximum value of rupees 500 and rupees 1000 respectively so my selling price is 700 rupees fixed cost 84000 rupees variable cost 420 rupees and contribution margin is the difference between sales selling price minus variable cost so equals to b1 minus b3 it comes out to be 280 rupees the profit volume ratio or the contribution margin ratio will be contribution by selling price into 100 so it will be equals to 280 divided by selling price and enter so it comes out to be 0.4 or 40% now we need to prepare a table of predicted cost and revenue 0 100 200 and let me drag it till 700 units fixed cost is equals to b2 this b2 represents my fixed cost that is 84000 rupees now this fixed cost will remain same in all the subsequent cells so let me freeze this b2 by putting a dollar sign that is shift plus 4 before b and shift plus 4 that is dollar sign after b and press enter now let me drag it till 700 units now for the computation of total variable cost we know that for total variable cost it is number of units multiplied by variable cost per unit so equals to the number of units multiplied by the variable cost per unit represented by b3 again my b3 cell will remains the same in all the subsequent cells so let me freeze it by putting a dollar sign in between b and 3 the next one is the computation of total cost which is nothing but a summation of fixed cost plus the variable cost so equals to b10 plus c10 and then press enter now drag it till 700 units and the last component is total revenue which is the multiplication of number of units and selling price so equals to number of units represented by a10 cell multiplied by selling price represented by b1 again my selling price will remain the same in all the subsequent cell so let me freeze it by putting a dollar sign in between b and 1 and again drag it till 700 units so in this way your total revenue comes out to be 0 70000 140000 and goes on till 490000 again 700 units now based upon this information we can easily prepare our cvp chart for more clarity on the preparation of cvp chart you may also refer my previous video of cvp analysis and charting using ms excel so in this way i have prepared my cvp chart based upon the table of predicted cost and revenue 
Now our break even point comes out to be at 300 units and the value is 2 lakh 10,000. Let me highlight it with yellow color. So the break even point in rupees is 2 lakh 10,000. And in units it is 300. So now the question says check what will be the impact on this CVP chart if there are changes in the fixed cost, if there are changes in the selling price, and if there are changes in the variable cost. Let me first enter the information in this box given below. So my existing fixed cost is 84,000. New fixed cost that has already been specified in the question is 1,12,000. And against this new fixed cost, I need to compute the new break-even point in rupees and the new break-even point in units. The existing selling price is 700 rupees. New selling price is 588. Similarly, the existing variable cost is 420 rupees and the new variable cost is 560 rupees. So in all the three cases, I need to compute the revised break-even point in rupees as well as the revised break-even point in units. Now after writing the values of existing and new fixed cost, selling price and the variable cost, I need to put my cursor on the value in which I wish to activate the list option of data validation. So first and foremost, I need to activate the list option of data validation for a variable name as fixed cost. So go to data, then go to data validation. Again, click on data validation. And then you need to select the list option. Now under the source option, I need to show the range of values which I wish to show in the list. So I wish to show rupees 84,000 and rupees 112,000 in the list. So let me select both these variables and press OK. The moment I press OK, the data validation icon will get reflected against the fixed cost. It is showing a value of 84,000 and 112,000. The moment I changes the value of fixed cost from 84,000 to 112,000, my break even point gets shifted to rupees 280,000 against units that is 400 units. So let me reflect it or let me highlight it with green color. So if the revised or the new fixed cost is 112,000, then my break even point in rupees will be 2,80,000 and the break even point in units will be 400 units. Similarly, I need to activate the data validation option for the selling price. Again, I need to put my cursor on the value in which I wish to activate the data validation option. Again, go to data, data validation and then you need to select the list option. For the source, I need to select the range of values that I wish to appear in the list. So I want the value of rupees 700 and rupees 588 to be appeared in that list. So I will select both these cells and then click OK. The moment I select OK, the data validation icon will get reflected against the selling price of rupees 700 showing the two values that is 700 and 588. The moment I select the selling price as rupees 588, my CVP chart automatically gets changed and the new break even point will become 2,94,000 rupees and 500 units. So in units, it is 500 units and in rupees, the break even point is 2,94,000. Let me highlight it with blue color so against 500 it is 294000 in rupees and in units it is 500 units and the last is to activate the data validation option for the variable cost again we need to put my cursor on the value in which i need to activate the data validation option go to data data validation and then you need to select the list option 
and for the source you need to select the range of values which I wish to appear in those lists. So I want the values of rupees 420 and rupees 560 to be appeared in that list. So I will select both these cells and then click OK. The moment I click OK, the data validation icon will get reflected against the variable cost of rupees 420, reflecting two values that is 420 rupees and 560 rupees. The moment I select the 560 rupees, the break even point shifts to 600 units and in rupees it comes out to be 4 lakh 20 thousand. Let me highlight with orange color. So the break even point or the revised break even point in rupees is 4 lakh 20 thousand in rupees and in units it is 600 units. So in this way, my CBP charge gets impacted or gets changed with the change in fixed cost, with the change in selling price, and with the change in the variable cost. Now the last part of this numerical is that I need to measure the impact on CBP chart if there is a change in selling price by rupees 50 per unit, subject to minimum and maximum value of rupees 500 and 1000 respectively. For this, I need to activate the spin option, which is available in MS Excel. For activating the spin option, I need to first install the developer icon. You need to click on file. Then you need to click on options. And after that, we need to click on customize ribbon. And then we need to checklist this developer option and click OK. The moment you click OK, the developer icon will get reflected on your main bar. Select the developer icon, then go to insert and then click on this spin button. Let me put the spin button over here. Right click on it and then click on format control. Now it is asking for the values. So in this, the current value is 700 minimum value is 500 maximum value is 1000 rupees incremental change is 50 rupees it has already been specified in the numerical itself and the cell link or the reference cell is selling price that is b1 and then press ok the moment i press ok let me click on the arrow key the moment I click on this upper arrow, it, you can see your selling price gets revised to 750 rupees and your break even point also gets changed. Similarly, the moment I keep on changing my selling price from 750 to 800, it again changes my CBP chart and goes on till 1000 rupees. So till 1000, I can make these changes. Similarly, on the minimum value, it is 500 rupees. The moment I click on 500 rupees, I can see the revised break-even chart with the selling price of 500. So that's all from my side. We'll meet you in my next session. Have a nice day.